Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I wanted to show you my new carnivorous plants that I received from Vistuba this week. This has been an order that's been sort of in the works for months and it has finally arrived. So before I bring them out and show them to you, I just wanted to show you how they're sitting now. They are all in bags. Uh, a lot of these plants come out of tissue culture recently and I don't know exactly how long they've been out. Some look harder than others um, for like able to withstand less humid environments but I take the precaution of bagging them all up to start with and then if the temperature or the rises or the humidity drops in the greenhouse I will bag them up and that way it traps the humidity in there to keep the leaves from desiccating as I say some of them come in came in really big and others didn't come in so big all the ones that um, you had to pre-order in advance came in quite tiny but um, totally worth it and I will sort of unbag them first just to show them to you out of the bags. Maybe I'll put them on a table here and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm actually gonna start you with these three here because they never did end up getting bagged up. They seem big enough and um, thick enough to start with that they didn't need to be bagged. So I got a spatulata, came in a really good size actually. I got a glabrata. It has one pitcher on it, but um, looks like it was kind of squished in shipping there. But a good sized plant, has a basil on it. Nice and little miniature plant. And I got to this guy here. This is a, excuse my pronunciation, Dites. And it is a cute little guy as well. Nice little pictures on it. Um, the little pictures have little tiny fangs on them. I don't think you're able to see them too clearly here. Maybe. But, anyways cute little pitches on them. I didn't bother bagging these ones because I could tell just from the leaves that they've actually been receiving some light. They have some color in them already. So anyways, there's the first three. Okay, here's the next tray full. And we have two um, pots of Velosa. I love Nepenthes Velosa. I hope that these guys um, do really well for me. This row of plants here, these ones are definitely um, fresher out of tissue culture and I'll have to be a lot more careful with it. They're definitely not as um, hardened off yet. A Trusmaniensis, the two jewels of my collection. We have two Edwardsianas. I absolutely love this plant. I've been waiting so long to get this one. Really excited about that. They're tiny, but um, well worth it. Hamada Capitop. Let's try this again. Catopasa. Anyways, it comes from a different um, mountain. Slightly different. A little bit higher end variety of Hamada. And uh, Pitopangea. I've been waiting a while for this as well. These just got released um, commercially, so they've only been available for a few months. It's a good sized plant for um, what it is. We have about one centimeter pictures on it over here. It actually has two growth points. It wasn't actually two plants, it was just two growth points. Way down deep in the pot, it kind of separated off. And I didn't want to separate them out. But yeah, so that is a, a nice um, high-end selection there of some plants. Really excited about all of these guys. I'll, this particular row I'll have to be really careful with, that they don't um, desiccate out. High humidity will definitely be the key. And let's move on to the next tray of plants. All right, on to another row here. So the fog has also kicked on. So if you hear a bit of a noise, um, the fan, or you see the fog beneath the table here, you can see it down there maybe a little bit. It is um, kicked on and not kicking off right now because the sensor's up high and all the fans are off for filming. So anyways, we have a uh, tenuous there. Cute little guy. He's going to be um, a fairly small plant. A couple jacqueliniers. Uh, Tataliensis here. This guy came in smaller than I had hoped. I was hoping he'd be a little bit bigger. But he's sort of a little um, toilety bowl type too with the upper pitchers. And Intermus, he's a pinner size. Really tiny, but I actually have good success with them. They grow fast here. So that's no problem. Um, Tentaculata. Love these little guys. Kind of like a Hamada with no teeth. 
Dubii Mali or Mali. So he's gonna be a awesome little plant as well once he gets going. And a tiny little Ephipiata. These guys just became available again, I believe. So very small, not too long at a tissue culture. Got a little bit of color on them, so that's nice. But anyways, yeah, these guys are all so exciting for me. It's gonna be fun to watch them grow out and they don't look like much now, but they're all going to be so different from each other when they're big. It's going to be great. So I will pack these ones back up into little bags and bring out the next ones. Okay, on to the next row. So the reason I got so many um, Nepenthes all at once there, they came out of Germany from Vistuba. And I figure if I'm going to be doing an order from the other side of the world, I might as well make it a good one and do it once and do it right. So um, these guys of Vistuba there... He has tons and tons of species of Nepenthes. I, I like the hybrids, but I like the species better. So he has such a good selection of species that it made it um, really easy to um, buy a lot. So that one down on the end there, that is a Lavacola. Came in a decent size, not too bad. Densiflora. These guys are going to be a little bit of a toothy pitcher guy. A Raja. Love the Raja, I was looking forward to him. I put in some Laterite there. I put in Laterite with a few of the um, Nepenthes. I don't know if you guys use Laterite in any of your Nepenthe pots. Um, if you do, leave me a comment on which ones you think should have Laterite and which ones you think, well, shouldn't. I guess um, the the um, there's only a few that need it and I think they're all from the Mount Kinabalu, but I could be wrong on that. I got another Glabrata. It's pitcher um, didn't make it. That's not uncommon with these orders as well. The pitchers that are on there will usually fade pretty fast, but then the newer pitchers grow back a bit hardier. This one's a nice one here. I'm excited about that one as well. The Lingulata. The Mikey I came in really nice. I like the dark pitchers with the, the nice green on it. And then last over there is some Burbigie. They came in small. I was hoping they'd be a little bit bigger. They're gonna they're gonna take some time, but love the plant. I love the white pictures on them. So I'll bag these guys back up, and then I will show you the helis that I got. So give me one second. And last but not least, the heliamphoras. I ran out of square pots when potting these ones, so some of them got round pots. I really recommend square pots. They're so much more space efficient than the the round ones, but whatever. Only only three out of the whole order got potted in the round pots there. So I now have 12 Helium Forest species and one hybrid. So uh, consider it a pretty good collection. Excuse my um, pronunciation here. So we have a Nebulaniae, Nebulaniae, Puchella. This guy's neat. He's kind of like a hairy miner. Quite a, a small plant, but um, nice adult pictures on it already. Let's see if I can focus. And you can already see the hair starting to come on this guy. He'll be very hairy on the inside when he's bigger. And let's get back into focus. The smallest one becomes pretty much the largest one, hopefully. Tatii. And Saracenoides. Hopefully I said that right. Elongata. All these kind of look the same for now, but when they become adults, they'll look different. And then last but not least, see if I can um, say this guy right. Expendiculata. So, yeah, there are six Heliamphora species as well. So, there's going to be lots to watch grow in the greenhouse now, guys. It's so exciting to see new pitchers form on these guys, and as they get bigger, they change and become their own sort of individual plants. I know right now a lot of them look the same, but there's some really, really cool species in there. And, yeah. So, I hope you like this video. I hope you're um, going to follow along on the growth of all these guys. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.